my name is Duddy, so I do builds and stuff. Today, I'm not going to do builds, I want to show you two of the most powerful exotics in the game, in my opinion, right now. The first one we're going to focus on is Touch of Malice. This is an exotic scout rifle, it does increase damage when you get to low health. And then Leviathan's Breath is a Void Bow. These are the two strongest weapons in the game right now, exotic wise in my opinion. Touch of Malice, the final round in the magazine deals bonus damage drawing from the wielder's life force. I am not going to spend loads of time on all of these things because I've covered them this season. These two exotics, this is just a quick preview or a quick going over just to see how strong this is. And Touch of Malice, guys, honestly, it's absolutely crazy. It did get a little bit of a change at the beginning of this season. It's been buffed and they've had some of the perks reworked. The final round can no longer kill you and everything like that. I will leave uh, both videos in the video description, which I've done for these builds. But Touch of Malice just chews through any type of enemy at any level. It destroys them, even in GM's 1840 stuff. It makes them, these enemies feel like open wild dregs. It just absolutely wrecks them. Look at the state of that. I did a Void Warlock build with this one. I based it all around the stag. Whenever you put your rift down, you get increased damage resilience, uh, damage reduction. Sorry, whenever you put your rift down. So with the Touch of Malice, the final sort of round where it deals damage to you, you're going to be able to heal as long as you've got your healing rift on because that stag negates the damage reduction the damage that the touch of malice gives you and then you can take full advantage of the touch of malice get your rift down stand in that and then for times where you don't have your rift because we run a void warlock we can run feed the void devour and once you've got devour going and you're in your rift one or the other you can literally just run around in gm's 1840 less sectors and as long as you're aggressive and get kills you get loads and loads of health back, loads and loads of damage reduction. And on top of that as well, the perk on the Touch of Malice, the Unrelenting, works really nicely with the Devour as well. Because if you get three rapid kills, that also gives you health regeneration, which also got buffed at the beginning of the season. So you get big chunks of health back. But just look at the state of this, it's absolutely disgusting. Really, really strong. And then of course you've got the Exotic Trait on there, the blast that it does that also buffs uh, exotic weapons of sorrow weapons as well things like osteostriga and uh, necrochasm it also buffs them and if you've got anybody else who was in touch of malice that little blast that you just saw then is also going to buff them weapons as well by 50 percent the next weapon i want to focus on is leviathan's breath this bow has been absolutely crazy for a good few seasons now a big void bow it's got unstoppable capabilities on there but just watch this how good is this this just absolutely wrecks i know it's a favorite at the moment and it is one of my favorites this season in particular especially if you pair it with a fur tracer on the hunter whenever you damage something with one of your abilities you are going to get a 25 percent damage increase and because we're on void we're going to run weakening effects you're going to get 25 percent plus the weakening effect absolutely a massive massive damage with a fur tracer like I said, both builds for both weapons that you've seen, I will link in the video description. But just look at the state of this, these champions, one or two taps with this bow, it is so, so strong. And that bow tracer gives the maximum damage instantaneously, 25% for 10 seconds. Any activity you want, raids, GMs, 1840 Lost Sector, master stuff, master raids, you can take this anywhere, it's always in my loadouts anyway, Leviathan's Breath, because it is also extremely good for DPS as well, as I'm sure most of us already know. I have used this bow for literally everything in the game, raids, bosses, and things like that for DPS, GMs, Lost Sectors, it's such a good bow. With Touch of Malice, they're the two strongest in my opinion, Thanks for watching, let us know what you think, have you been messing around with any of these this season? I hope you found this fun, have a great day.